Hello, welcome to Good Work Now, your show for finding and creating good work. I'm Dr. Brian Moffat, your host. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome Lorna Kibbe. Lorna is a professional speaker, and she provides a wide variety of services in the areas of leadership, communication, and motivation. And all her programs are designed to excite and inspire. And today, Lorna's going to talk about her seven secrets to world-class employees. So, stay tuned to see if you, your colleagues, or your employees are, in fact, world-class. Lorna, thank you so much for being on Good Work Now, and you're my very first Floridian guest on our show. I'm honored. Before we go into the seven secrets, Lorna, let's start with what is a world-class employee? World-class, in most of our definitions, means best of the best. What we're talking about with a world-class employee is an employee who is striving to exceed all standards and expectations put upon them, and not just that, but the standards and expectations that they have for themselves. So I understand you have this program called The Seven Secrets of World-Class Employees. Uh, the first secret is world-class employees have global vision. Tell us about that. World-class employees are not concerned with just their own little corner of the world. You know how you have some employees who like to sit in one chair and just do their little thing? Mm -hmm. World-class mm -hmm. employees understand that their success depends on the success of their organization. Mm -hmm. So they're very interested in their organization, all the different departments, and helping everything to work better, not just their one thing, but they're researching and they're learning about their company, mm -hmm. and they're just interested in having that global view you know, the big picture of what's going on in their company. And I imagine it's going to be very important for managers and supervisors to make sure employees, in order to have a global vision, have access to Absolutely. information. Absolutely. So that's yes. going to be important. Uh, the second one is world-class employees are obsessed with providing excellent quality and service. What are your thoughts about that? Well, you know, world-class means best of the best. So world-class employees are people who are giving their all to the organization to give a great performance. Mm -hmm. So they're working all the time to make sure that their product is the best it can be, that their quality is the highest it can be. So I imagine feedback is going to be very important, getting feedback from customers. Absolutely. And giving employees access to mm -hmm. that information so they know where they're doing well and where they can make some changes. Right. right. The third one is world-class employees are constantly seeking ways to grow and be professional, which kind of relates to what we just talked mm -hmm. about, having feedback. Right. What are your thoughts about that one? The thing that's very interesting is that people in their jobs are experts just because they're in the job they're in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't think about themselves as an expert, but world-class employees, the best of the best, they understand that they have to continuously work to improve themselves. They continuously have to work to grow, to get new skills, to challenge the way that things are being done. So having a culture that embraces that right. and doesn't view frontline employees as subordinate. Exactly. staff but as as partners and the fourth one world-class employees strive to innovate and reinvent right they're never happy with the status quo mm. they're always looking for a new way to do things they understand that they have to focus on what's going on now but things are going to change so they're looking for ways to improve their work processes they're not afraid to try it another way they're not the kind of people that are going to sit back and go mm. well we've always done it this way so this works okay. they're going to do their best to find better ways to do their work. And actually, based on my experience and my research in this area, is that employees or human beings, by their nature, want to improve, they want to innovate, mm -hmm. but oftentimes organizations have barriers, right. either the culture mm -hmm. or the structure or, or something is getting in the way of employees doing what comes naturally. How can managers and supervisors support employees in their quest to become a world-class employee? Well, it, it is a culture that that a manager creates. And the first thing, of course, is that the manager has to see the big picture also. They have to understand that in order to have employees who can innovate and experiment and communicate properly, that they have to open up channels so that people can, can do those things. Mm -hmm. They have to allow for experimentation, for employees to try new ways for employees to be able to openly communicate a trusting environment, mm -hmm. and for employees to, to feel good about the company, to understand the company and how their role contributes to the company's success. The fifth one, world-class employees think ethical thoughts and do ethical deeds. Mm -hmm. I think we're seeing a lot of examples where this is particularly important in recent decades. So what are your right. thoughts about this? I think people get confused sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the real indicator is if you have a funny feeling in your stomach, 
you should probably stop and check it out before you go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, I, world class employees are really trying to do right things. They, they think ethical thoughts, they do ethical deeds, but companies also have to work to make sure that people understand what the standards are and what the rules are. Exactly. So organizations need to be clear about what their values are mm -hmm. and what, where the policies, what the policies are and where they are. Exactly. And world class employees will latch on to that mm -hmm. and they'll have that feeling when something's not right that they should ask questions before they move ahead. And it seems to me another important thing that managers need to do is to ask for feedback from employees about policies. Right. Because it may be that what you have written down in the policy manual isn't working anymore. Maybe it worked 20 years ago, right. but maybe engage your employees mm -hmm. in a world-class process <laughs> yeah. to find what might be the best way to change. Uh, the sixth one, world-class employees are expert communicators. Expert communicators. Communication is so mm -hmm. difficult, but expert communicators for a world-class employee means that they take a responsibility for making sure that their message is understood and properly evaluated, mm -hmm. that they don't assume people know what they're talking about, that in all forms of communication, whether it be written or verbal or whatever, mm -hmm. that they're working very hard to make sure that their message is clear and understood, and that they're checking in with people to make sure that the message is understood the way they intended not leaving it to chance. Right, so doing things like paraphrasing to making exactly. sure that you receive the message as it was intended. Checking. checking what I'm for hearing clarity. you say is that you understand what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, good example, very good. <laughs> and let's wrap up with the, the last one, number seven. The seventh secret mm -hmm. is that world-class employees are focused. World-class employees make a conscious decision to focus on the task at hand. Mm -hmm. That's how they're able to deliver a quality product. They're more effective, they're more efficient, they're more productive. They're able to really be in the moment that they're in and take care of that task. Mm -hmm. So they, they're not running amok. Exactly. <laughs> so and, you're right. And they're less stressed because of it. Exactly. Because they're right. completing one thing, doing a really great job with that, and then moving to the next. And so they probably have some indication of when they're completed with something as exactly. well. Exactly. Because I think what, what frustrates employees is when they are focused, they're doing, they're trying their best to accomplish a task, mm -hmm. and then it gets shipped upward into the organization and it never heard of, it's never heard of again. Right. It gets lost in mm -hmm. the organizational mud. <laughs> exactly. And that can be very demoralizing, yeah. I think, for folks. It's interesting that, you know, when you're reading the self-help magazine articles these days, mm -hmm. that's on the list. Being present in the moment, you know, it helps us to be much less stressed, to be focused on that one thing, to be able to do that well. Exactly. Lauren, I want to thank you so much for being on Good Work Now. And as I was reviewing your bio, you had a sentence that, that, that caught my eye, that you have one teenage daughter <laughs> and you have one dog who thinks she is a teenage daughter. Right. <laughs> I've got to find out more about that. What's that about? Uh, she's a Springer Spaniel. Anyone who's had a Springer Spaniel knows their personality. She wants to be involved in everything. She's oh, okay. just adorable, you know, yeah. just adorable. I have a, a little mini dachshund, and she has a similar personality, <laughs> so they probably get along just fine. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you'd like to talk to Lorna more about her seven secrets or to see more about what she provides with her, her consulting business, her website is www.lkibbe.com, and you can also call Lorna at 239-8500. 8773. And again, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank it was you. great to thank chat you. with you about your seven secrets and thanks for sharing the seven secrets. Okay. Thank, thank you so much for tuning into Good Work Now. Next time, we're going to be talking about evil leadership. So please stay tuned for that program. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, please feel free to email me at brianmoffitt at comcast.net or visit our website. We have all kinds of episodes and tools free of charge for you to take a look at at www.goodworknow.com. Until next time, keep up the good work.